hi guys simply natural here welcome back to my channel and today I have grocery haul these were these items were filmed at different points because it wasn't a full grocery haul and like sometimes we needed to top up with certain items and sometimes we just got items individually as they were available so I'll start with this one as this would have been one of them and it's the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free one-to-one bacon flour and we haven't been getting this one this big pack for a while I think it's due to the whole pandemic situation and this one is the four pounds now the last time I showed you guys it was a very small um, pack and it was I can't remember how much it was but I put the size somewhere in the video right um, and oh actually there's one here so this was the size that we got it's actually 1.6 ounces so that's it in comparison to this one this is a slightly lighter blue but it's the same flower and I was so happy to get this because this finishes within no time I usually use this flower to make my gluten free waffles or pancakes um, and um, anything that requires any sort of flour I would use this one so this is my first item we got that and then another item we got was this Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning and like I would have mentioned before we really like these because we had gotten them from the seeds the very big ones um, the ones that we got before I think were with the red cover and then we found this one in the supermarket but with the blue cover so this one is, is actually a different one and this one has a green cover and it says with cumin so that's what is different in this so it has salt garlic Try calcium phosphate, anti caking agent, cumin, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. So, we really like this because it doesn't have MSG in it and it's flavorful. And usually, when we cook with this, we don't need to use salt, if so, just a little bit, right? So, it's interesting that they have one with cumin, um, and I've always heard good things about cumin so we'll see how it works out right I'm just glad that it's available <laughs> for us to even try it here so yeah I also got another one of these um, whole strawberries already open he uses it for his smoothies I can use this but not all the time I have to know when I used when I could use it and so on based on my body's reaction to it so we got these so we also got a pineapple and cut it up and freeze it one time again we make smoothies with it as well as our vitamin C immune booster shot that's the main thing we use it for and we also put it on pizza because I love pineapple it's my favorite fruit yep so this is something that um, hubby picked up we normally buy broccoli but not in this um, frozen section one and yeah I guess he wanted to try it because you wanted to try it in smoothies. I'm not a broccoli in smoothies person, so I'm not sure how I will use this. I'm not sure how I will use this as yet, but yeah, we got this. This one is 450 grams, and it takes four to six minutes in the pot to, I guess, to cook it. Um and three to five minutes to microwave it I usually steam my broccoli I don't normally cook it and if I do I put it on a pizza 
um, the homemade pizza that we make and bake it. But we'll see how this one works out. It's from the company Dujardin. And the last item I have frozen is this Cavendish hash browns. Um, and this is just a simple, easy breakfast or dinner option that you can have with different sides. Um, and this one has 10 in it and it's 600 grams and you get 120 calories per serving. We usually do this on the um, in the air fryer instead of on the stove right so that's it for frozen and drunk so another thing i've been using is honey i think i mentioned before that you cannot use sugar anymore brown sugar white sugar whatever form of sugar um honey so far thank god is the only thing so far that i can eat that does not affect me the way sugar affects me so i'll be picked up these two bottles and this is from benji's apron i just washed the bottles so the paper is wet unfortunately i'll try to put the information in the description box benji's apron marcus valley trinidad and the phone number is Right, so we got two of that because apparently honey is not um, being produced uh, around the rainy season time so we got this to hopefully last us through that and then I also want to show you guys from another friend of mine that we we buy honey from and this one is almost finished that's why we had to get those um this is um brochure premium organic honey and this is from bees and Cado enterprises santa cruz right so we also get from him but he didn't have at the time and he has a smaller bottle these um this one is for 200 this is the 750 ml bottle um, this is a little smaller as you can see thank you so much for this one you want to go yesterday huh no this one 200 okay and then it have this 68 this was a very small one this one is 250 ml um this one do have the ml on it but it's smaller than this one right so yeah that's another thing i have been using in replacement of sugar so. this is a product have we picked up recently and it is avocado oil from the company Greens Best and it's non-GMO project verified and it's vegan of course, gluten free, excuse the noise here and my neighbors play music if you're hearing that. It's distributed, well it's a product of Miami. And um, yeah, we wanted to try this with um, to make our own vegan mayonnaise. So we picked this up and butter. Um, and this one is a 250 ml. Right. So I really love this bottle. Very sleek and cute. Nice packaging. This is another product, um, avocado oil based plant butter. I would have showed this on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go do so at Simply Natural 
underscore yt and my personal one is simply natural right so this is something that we bought quite a while ago and i could not i don't i think i forgot to include it in the haul in the previous haul that i did and this was bought at peppercorns in south i'll have the information there and it says spread love master blended plant-based oils gluten-free vegan 2.5 grams of monosaturated fat it's a good source of omega-3 ELA zero grams trans fat so it's um pure blends avocado oil plant-based butter vegetable oil blend and this tastes awesome guys i cut out butter a while back unless you know we use it in probably to to mix our little pastry stuff the gluten food stuff and but i barely use it this is how far it has gotten and i am enjoying it it's very creamy i wanted to get something to at least put back some fat in my system because all the most of the sources of fat i cut out um, the normal sources of fat I cut out. Um, let me see if I can get something to show you guys how it's spreading by the bread. Let's see. Alright, so just gonna spread it on a Dixie um, biscuit for you guys to see. So. And it's um, it gets a little um, I wouldn't say stiff on um, like when it's in the fridge, but it gets very soft easily when it's um, yeah. So that's it when it's out of the fridge, right? So just wanted to show you guys how easy it spreads very light and um buttery mm -hmm. and it tastes good yeah it's a very smooth um smooth butter very light and fluffy and it's very tasty so i am um, i'll try to remember the prices or see if i can find the bills to these things like i said these things put together are were bought at different places and different times right so i'll try my best to get the prices for you guys and this one has 60 calories no artificial preservatives or flavors and no partially hydrogenated oils right I really like the packaging and you guys would know if you follow me on Instagram you would know how much I love avocados so that's the other product there so another product that we got um, I would have showed you guys the cheddar style one in this but I don't know I seem to really like white cheeses I love anything with that is Italian style and so on and I know they use a lot of the white cheeses in the Italian cooking I guess and I told her to pick up this one this time and it's the mozzarella style shred so it's basically the same thing um, like the cheddar style but this one is just the, the taste of it is mozzarella style and the color is different because it's, it's a white color and the base is tapioca starch and this has a hundred calories of course it's dairy casein and lactose free soy free gluten free it melts and stretches we use this on our vegan um or gluten free pizzas because there's sometimes when we um put like different meat stuff on it all the times when we would use tuna and so on in our um, gluten-free base pizzas. So yeah, this one is non-GMO certified 
certified plant-based vegan and this pack is 8 ounce 227 grams right and here you can see what it looks like in the peak hole right there so this is another product that I love I usually show this in my Pennywise haul so you depending on which one goes up first you might see this in a Pennywise haul or after um, if it goes up after this video but this is the coconut oil that we use the main coconut oil to cook with um, I use it for cooking I use it for my skin as well and for other little things right so it's the coconuts of the Caribbean cold pressed virgin coconut oil and I had it for a little while I guess that's why and I had it in the cupboard so I guess that's why the color is so dark um, and it says all natural cold pressed virgin sustainable organic responsibly sourced suitable raw unrefined right and I love how this tastes actually this one is 14 fluid ounce at the bottom here yeah, it's difficult to read because it's so transparent the last one that I got in my last Pennywise haul well a few Pennywise hauls a while back um, was from another company but I I really like this one I think it's a little bit more expensive but the flavor of this is I find it's really nice and then this is the cold pressed and stuff USDA organic certified fair trade DME non GMO project verified right I use this and I also use the Nariel coconut oil I have one here but we already it's in use so pure coconut oil so these are the two oils our main two oils that we use for cooking right and this one is okay too this one is no cholesterol no preservatives expeller press high in mcts rich in antioxidants and this is also proudly caribbean right this is a 900 ml bottle so that's that oh and this is made by cga uh, manufactured by CG Limited, which is right in love until there. Yep. So, these are the two oils that we use mainly for cooking. So, this is a new product. Well, we've had dal before, but I've never had, I don't think I've ever had this type. It's called Masuri dal, and it's this bright orange color and they are so tiny compared to regular dal it's from the company chata food products a product from india and it says it's a subsidiary of the little store limited yeah so this one is actually a pong one pound pack and it's 454 grams this thing is not focusing guys so have you guys ever tried this before if so let me know and how do you like it right so these are some of the nuts that we usually get in this time around we got some peanuts some almonds we got some pecans some cashews as well as some walnuts you guys would have seen um me show nuts before in my healthy food hauls it's a staple that we get every now and then they last us a while and we usually get them at one spot which is a god's nut shop right this is another product that we have been buying over the years but i don't know why we stopped i used to drink this um when i was now doing the natural remedies for my illness and so on i was recommended this by a herbalist 
a natural doctor and I used to use it before I don't know why I stopped but I want to start back because one of my friends told me about it again and I'm like all right I think I should really get back on this CMOS game and this one is the Irish CMOS from CMARCH Nature Nurture Good Health it says imported and exotic natural superfood that is nourishing and energizing and this is three, the 3 ounce pack it says it's a product of the Philippines I don't know why I am kind of not liking the white little white things that are on there because I really can't remember if this is how it used to look before like some of it looks normal but some of it looks whitey whitey and then there's a little brown thing in there I don't know I am just not sure about about the, the thing because I can't remember but how we said it's natural for it to have those things on there so I probably need to go and check to see if that is so because I just I'm afraid to use it <laughs> but yeah it's very good I'll try to link some benefits or add some benefits to my description box so you can see why this is good and then I watched a video of one of my favorite youtubers then she was talking all about CMOS and how um, it I think it gave her a lot of energy and she's been really liking it and so on so I say all right maybe that's a sign that I should start back using it especially being that I'm trying to rebuild my body and to gain weight all right what about this do you guys use this at home or do you buy like the CMOS punch and so on drop a comment below and let me know later